Eight years ago, this was the welcome banner for Sam the Tortoise. And today, sadly enough, we say so long. And he'll do anything for bananas. In 2012, Sam the Tortoise moved to the San Diego Botanic Garden. Yeah, this is definitely not the typical way you'd move a big wild animal. There was nothing typical about Sam's story from the start. The man luring the giant Galapagos tortoise was Julian Duvall. It gives me goosebumps the fact that this all came together here. Sam was the poster child for an inappropriate pet. In 1966, Julian's family adopted the tortoise in Chicago. Sam was this big the first year, this big the second year, third year he's this big, fourth year, uh-oh. When Sam got too big, Julian's family had to give him up. And a lifetime later, Julian spotted his old friend on the cover of a newsletter. Forty-some years later, our family has a reunion with Sam. The gentle giant became the beloved therapy animal at the San Diego Botanic Gardens. He was very special. Julian's wife, Leslie, wrote a children's book about Sam. He was just such a special animal. He was almost human. Sam died on November 5th. He was a pet to me. Kathy Duvall, Julian's sister, was Sam's main caregiver. He was my neighbor, and we spent a lot of time together. The garden is hoping to raise money to build Sam a commemorative bench. He was a very popular tortoise, so there's a lot of people that would like to have that for a remembrance of Sam. We were all bananas for Sammy, but when he reached his mid-50s, a heart condition took a toll. We thought that he was going to live beyond all of us. <laughs> Before he passed, Sam needed a feeding tube and a ride to a vet clinic. But how do you move a 600-pound animal? The Encinitas Fire Department. Six firemen came out here, put him in a stretcher, and got him into this trailer so we could take him down there. Julian says Sam was happy and comfortable in his final months. It's truly like losing a family member. Sam always took his time, and somehow that may remind us all how fast life moves. Value the time that we have, because nobody knows how much time we're going to have. In the Zevely Zone, Yay! Jeff Zevely, News 8.